You don't have to hate on anybody. Like, you don't have to hate on anybody to make a sale. In fact, as a matter of fact, this last six weeks of the year, if you want to start a breeding program and you are a bit on a tight budget, but you have to prove to me that you can't afford it, I will do you a deal on Rottweilers. There's this level of toxicity where, unfortunately, a lot of breeders feel to make a sale or stay relevant, they have to go negative on another breeder. You know, I mean, we're over 200 million people in Nigeria. There are about 4.8 billion people, or is it 7.8, in the world. You know, and I mean, the principle of life I've always kept is a Bible saying that says if a man is diligent with his business, he will sit before kings and not mere men. So all it takes for you is just do the right thing and your puppies would be taken, your dogs will be taken. You don't have to hate on anybody. Like, you don't have to hate on anybody to make a sale. For 26 years, by God's grace, we've been breeding dogs and we have not had to put puppies for sale. We don't advertise our dogs for sale. And God sends buyers to us. And we get to sell our dogs. Why? Because we try to do it the best capacity we can according to the breed standard. A lot of people say, oh, there's a breed standard, but this is what I like. And I tell them, if that's what you like, go and create your own breed. You have designer dogs all over. They cross poodles with Rhodesian Ridgebacks and Labradors and call them different things. Go and create your own. I mean, I have this Rottweiler here beside me. I remember the last time you guys came to me and asked me a few questions about what do you think about this extreme head and everything. And I said, there's a breed standard. I like nice dogs. I like dogs with strong temperaments and good, strong conformation. But I want to have a Rottweiler that looks like a Rottweiler. Not changing the color of a Rottweiler and then it looks like a Bull Mastiff. Or it looks like a Neapolitan Mastiff or something. No. This puppy here is a fourth generation breeding from us. And I will keep to this type. I will keep to the breed standard, to the best of my ability. I mean, by God's grace, if it's to buy or produce the extreme types that are out there, I mean, we're financially capable by God's grace. And we have the genetic material to produce extreme dogs. But we wouldn't. Why? Because there's a breed standard. A lot of people say, oh, those extreme dogs, they are pure breeds. Yeah, they are pure breeds. They're not cross breeds, but they're a product of wrong combinations. And the earlier we try to salvage the breed, the better. And if we all think that we want to go to the next level to keep some extreme dogs or whatever. I mean, the Boabo Society. There was a time when the black Boabos were not going to be allowed. And a group of people created a society called SMA. They started breeding South African black mastiffs. And they got the breed registered. And they moved on before Serbs later accepted the Black Boabos. So, we can have Boo Rottweilers, or whatever you want to call it. And we know we are breeding those. And then if you want to breed them, you can go ahead. You know, but where I'm coming from is, I think it's high time that we come together as a community and I speak for Nigeria, I speak for Africa, for us to come together as a community, let's love ourselves, let's support ourselves, let's stop the negative vibes, let's stop the player hating, let's stop the blood, bad blood. I mean, a lot of people 
who come to the kennel to get dogs from us. You know, I hear some people say something sometimes and they're like, ah, I thank God I didn't listen to them all. And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, ah, what we had heard about you guys. If I didn't take a chance to just come and hear or see by myself, I would have lost out. And I'm like, no, tell me, tell me. And they're like, no, I cannot tell you. I'm like, why? Because some of these people, I see them on your social media page. They come to your kennel. They take pictures with your dogs. And the kind of things they say about you and your kennel, I can't believe it. And then I'm wondering, okay, with all they have thrown at us, with all that they have done, at the end of the day, what have they benefited from it? Where has it taken them to? In our 26 years of breeding, there are so many people who started breeding before us, with us, after us, and I mean, maximum of five years, they die a natural death. Why do they die a natural death? Because whatever you sow is what you reap. You can't sow bitterness, you can't sow hatred, you can't sow negativity and win or get any form of progress in life or in anything you're doing. You know, I just believe that this bad blood and hatred and bitterness has to stop. The earlier we come together and stop hating on people, the better. I mean, for those who have hated on us for 26 years, by God's grace, we are still standing. We are bigger than where we were yesterday. We are better than what we were yesterday. We've been uplifted by God. So don't you think there's something wrong with your pattern? Don't you think there's something wrong with your scheme? Don't you want to try something else? I mean, let love rule the world. The world is hard enough. And then you are cutting short so many people who would have benefited from many people because of the negativity you sow to them. Oh, they say these guys are not good people. Those guys are not good people. And these guys have a lot of help to support those who need it. But for whatever reason, people lose that opportunity. For example, in the last two months, our kennel has given out pregnant adult female Rottweilers at ridiculous cost to young breeders who want to start breeding. I mean, there was a guy who got a dog from us. I wouldn't mention his name, but I'm sure he's going to come in the comment section to rant and shout. And he bought a pregnant dog from us. He was afraid of the price, so he thought there was a problem with the dog. We sent him the dog. The dog had 10 puppies. None of the puppies died. The puppies are about three weeks old today. And he said he has not lifted the finger to do anything to those puppies. The mom just produces milk, takes care of the puppies, hasn't slept on any, hasn't done anything to any, and he's still waiting for a problem to happen because he doesn't understand the price we sold the dog to him that there's no problem with the dog. And he said he's been breeding for about five years and he's never had a litter that he did not lose over maybe half of the litter and then the problem of tube feeding or bottle feeding or all the problems you can think of. In fact, he called me a few days ago that the dog had seven and six died stillbirth and the only one puppy that the dog gave birth to is not sucking and is about to lose, but what can he do? Like he doesn't understand how I can give him two dogs because he also came and bought a second dog. Of, in fact, he wanted to buy a second dog from us. Listen to this. When we were trying to go back and forth, the dog gave birth. It was her first litter, she had five puppies. And then I called him and I said, look, I will stabilize these puppies for you for about three days and then send this dog to you. He said he doesn't understand. Another dog or the same dog? I said the same dog. He said, but the dog has given birth. I said, but we had an agreement. I was going to let you have this dog. And if the dog gives birth or doesn't give birth, it doesn't change anything. And then I sent the dog to him. You know that this guy was waiting for something to go wrong with the puppies because he didn't believe why I would send him a dog that just gave birth and is lactating and there's no problem and the heads were beautiful. It was a Rottweiler litter and there was no problem. So my question is, why was he like this? But guess what? People had told him, ah, those guys, they are bad people. Who, 
those guys, they're not nice. So those guys, if they do this, you know, somebody was arguing with somebody that, oh, that what we normally do in HIS kennels is we will lie to you that this is the father of the dog, whereas it's not the father, that this is the mother of the whereas it's not the mother. And then the person he was talking to said, you know what? Do you know that all HIS kennel breeding females are dna And he said, he doesn't understand what you're saying. He said, HIS kennels, they have dna their breeding stock. So there is no way they can tell you this is the mother and this is not the mother, or this is the father and this is not the father, because the parents stock are dna And the person kept quiet in shame. So truth be told, I mean, I think I should just use this opportunity to say, we are HIS kennels, and the visionary in the person of TT, we are straight as it can be. It's to your demise if you choose to listen to what naysayers are saying about any breeder or us to be specific. It's just gonna be your loss. If you're a young breeder and you need any form of assistance, if you're an older breeder and you need a second opinion about something, I would ask you to please call us. I'm not very good with mess messages because um, I do other things apart from keeping dogs. You know, I'm a doctor by profession and I run a couple of other organizations. So I could be really busy. So sending me messages might not get the best of me, but get my number, call me, let's talk. I would love to help you. In fact, as a matter of fact, this last six weeks of the year, if you want to start a breeding program and you are a bit on a tight budget, but you have to prove to me that you can't afford it, I will do you a deal on Rottweilers. I don't really have extra, all the barber puppies we have are spoken for, but I think we have one or two Rottweilers that are available. I'll do you a deal on a Rottweiler. Be it a male, be it a female, if you want a pet dog, if you want a guard dog, if you want a breeding dog, if you want to start a breeding program. I mean, there was someone who we called a couple of years ago who came to us and needed some assistance. We gave him a dog, a female dog. This guy didn't pay us for the female dog until the dog gave birth. So how long did it take him to pay us? And we didn't call him and call him out on social media or whatever. No, he said he had some problems. And that's why he delayed. And then when he had a litter, that's when he eventually paid us. I mean, I made him understand that it wasn't nice because we had an agreement on that. But I'm just trying to tell you, nobody heard it on social media that, oh, this guy is owing us for something or yada, yada, yada. Hey, sweetheart, come before you jump down. You know, but what I'm trying to explain is don't let people deceive you with hate, bad blood, negativity. Oh, these guys are not good. These people are not good. Hey, it's only God that is good. My Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. But I mean, for those of us who love God, we try to behave in his image and in his likeness. So I speak for myself. Don't let anybody deceive you. A lot of these people come behind your back and they get favors from us. So they tell you, don't go to these guys, they're bad guys. Meanwhile, they come to us and get favors from us. So please, carry your two left legs or two right legs, or if you have left and right leg, and come and see how you can benefit from us. We, we derive pleasure in trying to make sure that people succeed, and we'll be very glad to make you succeed in any way God has given us ability to. So take the offer for the next six weeks. We would like to help and give back, I mean, 26 years of grace. Let's, let's do some giving back. And it's also the 50th anniversary of my beloved brother who passed five years ago to colon cancer. So in, in that grace, we would really love to give back. So if you need a dog, a Rottweiler to be specific, and you can prove that you're on a tight budget, we would like to help you. Or you want to start a kennel and you don't know how to start and you're looking for help and support, we would like to help you. So contact us. Reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook, or give us a call, and then we'll see what we can do.